100k is currently on the edge we are literally 200 and ten dollars away on Bybit exchange my link down below but other exchanges we seem to be somewhat a little bit over somewhat a little bit under that is just what it is welcome back to the crypto Bliss channel thank you for being here with me once again today i truly appreciate it you can see i've been pumping out quite a few videos for you over the last couple days and uh make sure to stay tuned because there is still tons more content that is coming out for you let's delve right in thank you for being part of the community i truly appreciate it you can see that i'm pushing hard every day to be part of the community as much as possible guys i sit here and i invest into these assets that i talk about on my channel and in my community so i hope you are literally enjoying every single last moment of that all right let's delve right in first of all if you did not watch this video here, I mean, I can't believe it's got seven views only. I get it, Friday night, everybody's jawling, doing whatever. But this video here, the way that Cardano has pumped recently, you're gonna go, you're going to want to go and see this, okay? This video is amazing. Snake has been, my Snake bags have been pumping. I spoke about Snake months and months and months and months ago. And now you are finally getting the reward of the beautiful cardano ecosystem through snake its main meme coin all right speaking of cardano before i move on this is the top brand intimacy rankings now this is very in interesting disney being number one because disney is quite inclusive when you go to a disneyland etc it's quite inclusive it makes you feel comfortable it makes you feel warm kid-like childlike it makes you just feel all around loved and cared for all right YouTube, where this video is right now, is one of the next because it is amazing. Like, it just gives you everything that you need. Uh, Apple gives you everything you need. Tesla gives you everything you need. So, I don't know about you, my friends, but I just want to go and share this with you right here, right now. Okay. Let's go and have a look at where, where is it? Where is it? Cardano. There's Cardano. Cardano is the 26th top brand intimate company. It's four places ahead of Bitcoin. Now, I'm not saying it will go past Bitcoin, and I said the same thing to you in the video, okay? But I am telling you that it has better community base than what Bitcoin does, than what BMW does, than what Nestle does, and a whole bunch of other. So you can see here the top company in the world is only ranked by um, intimacy at number 20th, okay? I don't know how Netflix are all the way up here because honestly, I mean, Netflix sure makes lots of people happy, but Netflix there is always bloody boring stuff to watch on there. Anyways, let's move on to the actual content of the video. Since I did my live session earlier on this week, they have pumped in 22 trillion, I mean, billion dollars into the market what the epic is going on this is like six days later we're not even on sunday we're not even a week later and they've already put nearly 30 billion into the market okay that is exactly why we're seeing the market pump right now and this is the bitcoin heading into altcoin season we're on the way into altcoin season my friends and i'm going to show you some evidence here in a moment so make sure to just stay with me all right Bitcoin currently is in a HODL territory, okay? It's nowhere near yet in a bubble territory. We are just at the beginning stages of this incredible fire company right now. And of course, as you can see here, Bitcoin is literally $70 billion away from gobbling up Elf or Google and about 130 billion dollars away from gobbling up amazon not that much right not that much the coolest news bitcoin and crypto has ever seen okay besides the etfs besides for everything else breaking sec gary gensler is to step down he has announced it that he will step down as the chairman of the sec and this will unfold and happen end of January sometime. 21st of January. Ironically on the 21st, isn't it so? 
No, you think we don't know what you're up to there, Mr. G. Right. But walking his way out with his tail between his legs, okay, because knowing what he did was absolute evil for the space. And he broke many, many laws. So that's why 18 US states are suing the SEC. And he is that person that's there right now. The Bitcoin bull cycle is still on track. As you can see here, we're just kind of getting out of this breakout zone over here. Now, personally, you can see here where we are, boom. Okay, I think we're just at this exit point here, breaking up into this boom here. That's where I believe we're at in the cycle, okay? Not so bad. Breaking news that the Chinese courts rule Bitcoin and crypto ownership legal as Bitcoin surges to a 97,930. Okay, now one thing that I do need to let you guys know is that China have gone back and forth over the last decade for legalizing Bitcoin, making Bitcoin illegal, back to legal, uh, and back to illegal, and now back to legal once again. So they pretty much do what it is that they want. But really, this is a very powerful move for Bitcoin and crypto. And I say that because we are literally at the 100K mark now. We've got a three and a half trillion dollar market cap. This is the highest the market cap has ever been. Bitcoin is sub $100,000. Ethereum is kind of lagging behind at the moment, hasn't really made much gains. Tether is getting much more liquidity come into it. At the moment, Solana is pumping and bleeding money out of all the others. XRP will pump soon. Cardano is pumping. The Fear and Greed Index is very, very frothy right now at a ridiculously crazy 93, okay? This is the highest that it, well, 94 yesterday is the highest it's been in months and months and months and months and months, okay? The crypto bubbles are currently in massive, massive, massive profits, okay? I don't know about you, but the bull cycle isn't done yet. And I'm gonna show you this here right now. The fear, so this is the Bitcoin price and share, uh, sorry, price and Satoshi meter. So without reading all of this, okay, the fear is on this side at the base here. Boom. That is when the worst amount of fear takes place in the entire cycle. The same thing there, the same thing there. And shout out to Stock Money Lizards, man, I love this dude. Uh, and same thing here. And guess what happened? We made a rally up. Now in the yellow zone, we had to get all the way up into the green and every single time we got up into the blue slash purple. So sometime up here. So really right now, we're kind of only sitting in this zone here, like the seven, eight of the fear side. And we could get up to still the 20 odd level moving up to the top here. That is insane. Now, USDT dominance is dropping below this very important level. So it will drop, pull back, which means that Bitcoin will lose some, okay, against that when it rallies back up to retest and then another leg down, all right? We are seeing this beautiful Bitcoin get up to 102,000. Now, the thing about 102,000 is that it's the 1.618 Fibonacci, all right? But, that isn't quite where we need to be. I would say that we would get up between 125 to 130,000, okay, because that's the breakout of this pattern, before we started probably seeing a very hard reversal. Now, yes, 100K is a, psycholo a very strong psychological level, but I, th I believe that because of the volume that we're essentially seeing here right now in this chart, okay, the volume is telling us that the bullish momentum is very strong, meaning that psychologically, yes, even though there might be piled up shorts at 100K because of the psychological level, the truth is, is that this thing could really just explode right through, absolutely right through, okay? And go up to 120, 125K because of the way people 
uh, would be wanting to get in at 100k because they're like, oh, am I, am I too late? What's going on? Where do I go? What's happening? Blah, de, blah, de, blah. Now, this is the very most critical point about this. Look at this um, this monthly candle. The monthly candle is up 40%. The Dixie is up, okay? We are seeing on the Bitcoin dominance, a whoop tail, a whooping tail, meaning the, the dominance shot up and is pulling back. Look at the level that I said it would get to. How crazy is that? We've now had one, two, three, four attempts to get above that level and it hasn't done that yet. Now, however, if we break this level right here, the 58%, then we probably we're gonna come down for a good pull down here, yeah, which means that that then at that point altcoin season will start. But I don't think altcoin season is quite upon us yet. Just like I was showing you here, it's not quite, 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 quite there. Even though we are seeing some crazy, crazy, crazy pumps here. Um, have a look at the the pumps that is busy happening in the altcoins. I mean, the altcoins have been pumping. They've pumped up 63% in their total three market cap. This is only total three market cap. Have a look at total two market cap. Total two market cap is also up, heading on to its all time highs, okay? That's inclusive of Ethereum. The total market cap has broken out of its all time high here, okay? As you can see, that's why we're at three and a half trillion because the previous high was 3.1 trillion. This is going to make its way up from the cup and handle pattern all the way up to a five and a half trillion dollar level, which means we still have two trillion dollars to go potentially before we see any sort of pullback in the total crypto market cap. That means two trillion dollars on top of this, my friends. That's quite a good number. That means we're doubling in this market cap right here. And even though ETH is lagging, ETH is not too far away from, I mean, estimated about approximately 40% away from its, its all-time high, okay? So that's not terrible. Now, the thing here is that you can see that Bitcoin has pumped like a, the fucking crazy, my friends. Absolutely crazy. And you can see here, every single pattern that we look at, Okay, we could get up to this level here, 115 to 120, 125K, because that is a possible long-term kind of first level stop resistance level, okay? Then pull back maybe 20, 30%, okay? I would say, I mean, if we have to be real here, that would then be very likely this pullback scenario here. Okay, so that pullback scenario ended up costing us 30%. Okay, I think this season, maybe 20% pullback. So let's go up to 120K. And then a 20% pullback brings us right back ironically to there. Look at that. Back down to the 93, 92,000 level. Look at that perfect breakout, hit the resistance level, pull back and retest. Okay. Now, Bitcoin will undoubtedly have some level of resistance up here because that is the level of 138K is the level of this cup and handle exit, okay? And essentially that would be the target for the cycle. But honestly, I, I just, I don't see 140,000 being our target. I actually, because of everything that is unfolding, my target, as you all know, is actually sitting all the way up at the 40 at the three hundred thousand dollar level so as you all know my target is for end of october to be at th next year to be at three hundred thousand dollars let's see what that does i think we could have a massive spike through even so and we could see some incredible numbers come out of this so i want to share this with you and as i've shown you before okay one bitcoin and the scenario market cap, so my $300,000, now that's 3 million, $300,000, says that Bitcoin on its own should be at an approximately, call it $6 trillion level. 
that's 3x where we are at from here guys that's not that hard right that's 300 100,000 to 300,000 now i think it could even spike up to about 450,000 which takes us to about a 9 8 8.9 8 trillion dollar market cap that's also just a four and a half x it could even spike through to about 550,000 taking us up to about an 11 trillion dollar market cap now I don't know you might think that this is far-fetched but with all the data that i'm sharing with you my friends all of the pumps that we have had since we were at the baselines you need to be very very understanding of the direction of of bitcoin and crypto because if we stretch this bitcoin rainbow chart out all the way up to 2020 uh 2031 this could end up at a 1.7 million dollar bitcoin a 1.7 million dollar bitcoin oh my shit my friends 1.7 million dollar bitcoin by 2031 that's a 33 trillion dollar market cap so why wouldn't that's a 17 extra from where we are right now why would you not be interested in actually making yourself the best possible gains this cycle and with that being said i truly appreciate you very much so thank you for being part of the crypto bliss community and thank you to you for subscribing to the Crypto Bliss channel and appreciate you. Make sure to join me on my private link here. You can see Bitcoin is topping out a little bit right now. So I wouldn't be surprised if we saw a little bit of a pullback down here to about 90,000. Um, but if you guys want to come and trade with me, you can see that I'm in a couple of trades here. If you want me to post my trades on my Telegram group, you let me know. I don't just do that because I have a lot of things that are going on. But you can see here, even with small amounts, guys, I keep showing you small amounts so that you don't get overwhelmed. Small amounts compounded every day is make you wealthy. Okay, so 86% up here. The AVAX trade is 143%. Sundog is 43%. Uh, Sin is 16%. And Ton is 11%. So if you want to make money with me, subscribe to the channel. Thank you for being here. And use my private link down below. Get yourself up to $30,000 deposit bonus. And come and make money with me. I mean, you guys are absolutely going ballistic with all of these coins here. So let's go and do it together.